ok ok ooh the driver's seat ooh an achievement ooh I look fancy Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's okay. Problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. <laughs> this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Uh. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of this seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Yeah, boy. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, please. <laughs> Phelps uh. is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys? So what is this, a classroom? Stop. He's a good cop. Don't throw shit. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phil. So be it. Get the hell up. Let's go. Those vice boys get any on the side? Ooh, suits. Aw, oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna stick with this one for now. I'll change them through the cases, hey, though. Alright, really I'm, I'm probably gonna pause it after this case. Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. Yeah. Give me a sec. I didn't ask for any favors. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. Canary says he'll sing. And only if I get this way. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's you know this place? Papers solved that big sure. case. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. Uh, I'll direct. I'll direct. Oh yeah, they get you get to drive the the actual cars and stuff. So, Ooh, this patch. Let's do a this Are we patch. Friends now, you have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I know, seriously. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. San was Francisco. Two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early '45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. Was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. <laughs> no. You were up there all night, draped in the flag. Knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? <laughs> the Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Whoa! I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Nice. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. 
All units, so 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. I'll do it. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect. I'm here, Max Gunman. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. It's okay, lady. Back up. We got this. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, distract him. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. What are you doing, dude? It was a non-lethal shot. I shot him in the leg twice, three times. He shouldn't be dead. That's my only problem with this game. He's not dead. The only way he would die is if he died from blood loss, and he didn't sit sit there long enough. He's just gonna have to lose his leg. Maybe back then they just were like, "Oh, he's dead. Just throw it in there." Alrighty then, to the case, my first actual detective case, get out the way, so I'm on traffic, so this is all like traffic related cases, I believe you move up through different uh, desks too, so like you'll be on different crime sets, advice is a uh, drug and Drug related crimes. Traffic, and then there's homicide. That you, Bukowski? And then there's arson, I think. Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Ooh, I threw up a little bit in my throat. I need to get back to work, off. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. He's uncomfortable around cops, apparently. Maybe he's got something to hide. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. All right. So it's an abandoned car, is that what it is? I'm no, hello. So hard. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. Hmm. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of hmm. Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Oh, the restless type. Okay. Intuition points. Oh, I don't need that. Fuck that. I'll do it on my own. I'll wait to talk to you. I'm gonna find clues first. Yo. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. How's the world looking? Ah, <laughs> oh, always the same two of you. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. I've got a mystery sample waiting at the Well, let's check the trunk of the car. <sighs> oh man, I'm allergic to work. All right, let's check the trunk of the car. Is this what he was beaten with? No. All right. What's this? Mr. F. Morgan. Picked Who's Morgan? A pig yesterday. A live pig. That's weird. All right. 
So there's clue over here. Is this what he's beating with? Insta heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay. And what's this? Glasses and a wallet. What's in the wallet? Money, money. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Huh? They've married on your ID back then. Happier times, I guess. Interesting. All righty then. What's in the what's with the glasses? Stencil. Stencil glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Yeah, they got tape on the little on this part. All right. Oh, investigation music. Okay. I'll go talk to uh, this guy. What's up, guy? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured yeah. I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. I called the police. My purpose? What's your purpose? What you doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. Okay. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Sure. Fine. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Okay, 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 okay. Knowledge? What's your knowledge? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Okay. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Wait, what did he say? What did he say? I don't know what he said. Went straight for the... Okay. Wait, let me see. Tell me the truth. Oh, you hit shit. the driver with the pipe. You can't prove I touched that pipe. I think you should take that gun off and I'll teach you a lesson in some manner. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just Nothing kidding. Personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. You picked it up. You oh. moved it. Why is it so far from the car? God damn it, how in the hell would I know? That's it for me and police business from here on. <laughs> okay, contact by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. All right, later. Sucker. You can drive. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? We're going to Adrian Black resident, okay? Fucking calm down. 
sweet baby Jesus. 26 Packard. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know cars. It's a black race of dance. Adrian Let's go Black. Let's ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm not good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Okay. Just a minute. I see you, so don't act like you're not home. Good. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. What are we discussing? I don't understand. I'm just kidding, I know. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Alrighty, then. Let's check, the place Let's out. check it out. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Ooh, a newspaper. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, these are the vets. So, your friend of course. Yeah. Yes, doc. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. Are you killing him? Guys, help the troubled vets. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, matches. Kavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Kavanaugh's. It's used. Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Sweet. Okay, I'll call for an address. Operator, give me dispatch. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks. Lovely. Let's keep looking around. What's this? Oh, this is your Insta Heat stuff. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe it's somebody from. Look around outside. Maybe it's somebody from Insta Heat. Also, he paid a lot of money. Back then, anyways, it's a lot of money. Okay. 
lovely 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 anything in here dang yeah these all over the place and you're using like all of them why yeah so many what's in here no no no, no. what's in here Ah, uh, this is nuts, and I don't need this. Okay, let's leave. No, let's leave. Okay, cool. Alright, let's check the rest of the house real quick, and then we'll go out back. Look at the heater. Oh, is this your glasses case? This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. Yep, Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Alright. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Who's Nicole? The other person's freaking uh, Margaret. No. It's a. Uh... Who is it? Yeah, Margaret. Who the frick is Nicole? Who's going on a railroad? A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Hmm. Someone's cheating. Separate photographs? Separate bedrooms. Separate yeah. Pictures. What gives here? They're not loving. Like, what's what? Something's fishy. I smell it. Alright, let's go look outside. Let's go check it out. It's around the kitchen window. Ooh, with nice flowers. Birds of paradise. I don't know why that was able to look at, whatever. No use leaving the thing half finished. Why is it taken apart? I'm gonna see if the piece matches. It's not that one. It's not that one. That piece doesn't go to any of that. Here that one goes. That one goes dur. That one goes dur. Oh, this one goes up at the top. I see it. And then that, yep, that smashes the piece. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Yeah. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. I guess so. Well, all clues are found. Let's go talk to the missus. Margaret, I'm gonna come talk to you now. I'm alright now, detectives. Okay. Ooh, a lot of stuff to talk about. Slaughterhouse. <laughs> in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Do you know F. Morgan? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Frank Morgan? Okay. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. Uh -huh. told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Okay. Kavanaugh's Your bar. frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. I found like three matchbooks. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. But you knew where he was really going because you told him to meet you at the rail yards. That's where you jumped him. How did you hide the body? What? You have an overly active imagination, young man. 
Do you have any proof of that allegation? Looks like I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, true. So nothing out of the usual then. Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Okay. Was your husband Stendhal wearing glasses. glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. That's not true. That's a lie, Margaret. You know exactly what Perry was wearing because you were there. You're being flat out ridiculous now. Why don't you show me some proof of where I was supposed to be? I don't get it. That was not. The glasses are broken and. Did he buy a new glasses? Looks like I was mistaken. Since when? Okay. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. Oh, okay. I tried to repair them with tape. They look terrible. Photograph signed in the Tell us cold. about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about the picture. I don't think you do. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. What's your alibi? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Okay, then. Evidence is stacking up, Mrs. Black. It all places <laughs> at the rail yard last night. I just wanted, I just didn't know. I mean, I've already told you I was here all night alone. Your stack of evidence doesn't change a thing. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. <laughs> all right, see ya, you bitch. All right. Take us there, Jeeps. You can drive. All right. Where to? Kavanaugh's, baby. Hurry up. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. <sighs> Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared nope. to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem to type. But stranger things have happened. True. That's one heck of a mm. I know you. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Two clubs sound for someone. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. He's only a writer, so he can't Frank really Morgan? Me. Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough. I don't like this guy already. 
We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. No. He's an idiot. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? I didn't say there was a rail yard, you dumbass. Um. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Okay, where, where is exactly he? Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Lies, lies, and more lies, Morgan. You know where he is. What have you got that says I know where he is? I don't know, but I'm going to doubt it if I don't have proof. Can't link anything specifically to him. Ooh, wait. No, okay. I'll just say... You're off the hook. For now. Doubt. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Well, we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Okay, should I arrest him? Because what did he do wrong? I mean... Um... I guess he did... I don't know what he did wrong. I don't know. Is it because he made it look like somebody was murdered? Can you arrest somebody for that? Probably. For sending us on a waste of uh, d department resources? Mm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave him. I don't think he's small. I think he's small fry. I'm just going to leave him. Uh... Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go back to my drink. Stupid bitch. At least he gave him up, otherwise it'd be like all over him. Alright, let's go. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, where are we going? To the apartment, you dumb dumb. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. Huh. Type is clever. Hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he no. is not. KGPL calling car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from technical services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Yeah, Roger so that's what the hog was for. Kind of reel this guy in, Phelps. Okay. What are we gonna arrest this guy for? Trying to go off the grid? Lying to people? I don't know. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Alright. Apartment 2? Okay. Alrighty. Apartment 1, 2. There it is. Gold handle. Hello. Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. 
I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the what gun is the last one. What a bitch. Before. Don't shoot him, so okay. Running, Adrian. Especially because he doesn't have a gun. Right so. now. Apprehend the suspect. It's over, Stop Adrian. Right there, Adrian. Sweet. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just no. got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting Conspiracy police resources fraud, okay. on a wild goose chase yep. like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Okay, that's what I thought. I guess I could have arrested the other guy too, because it's conspiracy and fraud too. That turned out to be quite Assisting. some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. Arresting people is like super expensive for uh, police departments. They spend a lot of money just arresting somebody to keep them in jail. So, realistically, they probably wouldn't have arrested that other guy. But I would have arrested him anyways, just because. Look for his day in court and a beating from the LA press. Alright, I'm gonna pause it. Um, I would love to see you in the next episode. Whatever it is I make. Um, see ya, bird.